I know that Erica has shown support for some very weird things and questionable people in Hollywood, but the streets are saying that showing support for Diddy was just another level of sus. Well, people came up with their own conclusions as to why she would support Diddy, and other than saying that she's always been desperate to be in the boys' club, we have some people saying that she probably showed support for Diddy because she is allegedly Diddy's high priestess. Child, she's definitely getting a bunch of votes for being Diddy's high priestess because of the support she has shown. But you know who else is getting votes? Beyonce. Number two, as you guys know, Beyonce is a witch. She's a very powerful witch. Um, she's heavy into African spirituality. She is a daughter of, I believe, either a daughter of Oshun or Yemiya. Yemiya, Yemiya. I, I go back and forth. I feel like it's Oshun though, but I may, but if I got it wrong, I got it wrong. But nonetheless, she, she, she's a high ranking witch. <laughs> Y'all, if there's one thing I can agree with so far with everything that has been exposed about Diddy is that there is no way he was working alone. And while some of the people who helped him are already being exposed, some people are saying that this entire madness also involved supernatural entities. Because how do you explain incidents that go three decades back, over 100 lawsuits, and over 3,000 complaints? Like, is this normal to y'all? Well, people are saying that he definitely got a bit of help from some supernatural. And like I said, one of the people being put on blast for helping him is Eric. Badu. So this debate came up after a lot of people started expressing disappointment over Erica being in Diddy's comments on IG showing him support. Of course you won't find the support because Diddy deleted his posts, but Erica was among those showing him love in the comment section. Honey, considering we've not seen her in the photos from the parties, people really didn't understand why Erica would even be supporting Diddy, until some people started pointing out that she's probably one of those that Diddy needs, but secretly. And by that, I mean, the streets have been saying that Erica was Diddy's high priestess. Now, about Erica being some sort of ritualist, this isn't the first time we are hearing about it. This is something that has already been said by multiple people multiple times. For instance, there's a time when Jaguar Wright was exposing Erica Badu for keeping the placentas of the babies she delivers when she revealed that Summer Walker's management team allowed the most ridiculous thing to happen to her. According to Jag, some of the things included sending Summer to Erica Badu, and while with Erica, she allegedly cast spells on Summer chanted about graves and kept the placentas of her babies. Summer Walker has been being handled for years. He was a part of her mm -hmm. management team. They allowed all kinds of shit, and they sent her down there to Erica Badu's house to be cast spells on shit, singing about graves and shit. letting that woman give birth to the, birth her babies and keep all of that placenta. Oh, she kept the placenta? That's what she does. There's also Glasses Malone, who once gave a story of how he was crazily attracted to Erica when he first saw her. And just before he could approach her, Birdman told him not to approach Erica because people from New Orleans like him know she's a witch. You didn't really know Erica Badu was this thick. The sin if she thick, I'm like, damn, this my thick. So I'm like, I'm finna bust her. I'm finna get her, feel me? Like, I'm me, like Doc had her, Andre had her, so I for sure could have her, like, you know what I mean? This crib. So, I'm get up, I'm telling the bird, man. I'm like, man, look how thick Erica Badu is. Like, yeah, she thick, she cold. I'm like, yeah, I'm finna go get her. So I start to get up. That grab my shoulder. He like, hey man, don't do that. I'm like, why not? You don't think I could have her? You sound crazy, God, I could get her. I got up. He was like, nah, nah. He grabbed me again. He's like, man, she like a witch or something, man. You feel me? She on some shit. And I remember looking like, man, you tripping. I feel like I'm laughing. Ah, oh, you crazy. I looked in his face and it did not look like it was no joke. It looked like he was serious. Like she had some powers. And I remember just calming down, like, you know what? Let me listen to this. You know, he's from New Orleans, Louisiana. So, you know, they know about all that. Shit. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just go on and chill out. Well, yeah, that was funny. I'll never forget. That was like, he stopped me that day. As far as Erica is concerned, she has fueled these ritual rumors herself. Like when she told Rolling Stone that there's an urban legend that her VJ changes men, saying, the men that I fall in love with and fall in love with me change jobs and lives. Speaking of her private parts the same year in 2020, Erica also decided to drop her Badu Premium Incense, a fragrance she made to smell like her private parts, and it sold out on her online shopping store within minutes of its availability, while explaining why she came up with a product that literally represented her 
her essence, Erica told BET, First of all, I'm Erica Badu. Secondly, in this industry, it's a legend that my box changes people. It changes their influences, their religion, their politics, and everything else. So that's why I decided to do it. I feel like everybody deserves it. About what the incense was actually made of, Erica told 10 Magazine, I took lots of pairs of my panties, cut them up into little pieces, and burned them. Even the ash is part of it. I mean, creepy much, girl? There are actually a bunch of other things that she has said and done that made people on social media conclude that maybe her support for Diddy was tied to all these ritualistic things. But hear me out. Some people are saying that if Erica was not the high priestess, chances are high that it's Beyonce. Because Beyonce is allegedly the most powerful high priestess in the music industry. Again, when it comes to Bay, this allegation isn't really a surprise. And again, one of the people who certainly believes that Beyonce is some sort of high priestess is Jaguar Wright. It's funny, you open up uh, Beyonce's internet, it just gets weird. Um, Beyonce's internet. Gosh, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Unless you calling that the devil, she ain't number the employee. Oh, oh. A half of which dumb bitch. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't just... nobody want to accept that bitch? Jaguar actually talked about that female drummer, Kimberly Thompson, who accused Bay of extreme witchcraft, dark magic, and casting spells on her. For reference, Kimberly actually filed a restraining order against Beyonce, saying that Bay was utilizing spells to tap her phone and control her finances, all to keep her under surveillance. And these actions were reportedly part of a campaign orchestrated by Beyonce against her. Kimberly also blamed Bay for the loss of many jobs, theft of homes, the death of her pet kitten, and her numerous broken relationships, among other things. I think she's she went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> <sighs> okay. A girl went to court mm. and charged her with extreme witchcraft. Mm. She she was hypnotized. She was Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her while she was asleep. You know, snacking on his bitch. Kill people cats. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too. Also, remember that lawsuit that Chanaz Mungro filed against the Dream? In her lawsuit, Chanaz said that days after she started working with Dream, Dream began to pressure her into sleeping with him, telling her that it was part of the process. In fact, she even described an instance at a house with a studio where they were working. And Chanaz said Dream locked her in a dark room and would only stop aggressively hooking up with her once she said that she loved him. Now, there are vile allegations in the lawsuit, kind of like the ones we saw with Diddy, with Chanaz claiming that the Dream played placed her in an Atlanta hotel, had his security staff monitor her movements, and berated her unless she regularly checked in with him. But then she also said that Beyonce and Dream allegedly credited Beyonce's success to the spiritual sanctuary they had together, and their bond allowed him to know Beyonce in a way that others could not, and consequently, he could write the best songs for her. Chanaz said that the Dream explained that the sanctuary, which was giving serious ritual energy with Beyonce, was even stronger than a spousal connection because it was about the art and required her to disclose all of her secrets and thoughts and become trust partners with him. He allegedly told her that this was the relationship he shared with Beyonce, claiming that they were so close that he knew about Beyonce's pregnancy before her husband, Jay-Z, did. You know, there have also been other people who have previously been close to Jay-Z and Beyonce who have exposed how they are definitely using dark forces to stay in the game, like Larry Johnson. Well, it's obviously they've been controlled by Satanism. I mean, I'm not really scared to say that. We all know Luciferians, Freemasons, and all occult knowledge that, that was up from Egypt have now surfaced itself in American society. And if you actually dig through the raps, like as I have, before it was all about partying and popping bottles. But when you listen to it again with a new ear, obviously they're not serving the same most high God that I am. And that's what makes us enemies, that I stand for a completely different doctrine, a completely different nation, and a completely different truth than he does. I don't have any materialism attached to my spirit or soul anymore. I don't have uh, fornication attached to my spirit anymore. I mean, I'm, I just got engaged July, so my life is completely different from how I was with women in the early 2000s. And I think that is the, the difference in itself of being evolved with 
Brock aware has made me see something completely different and knowing who his allegiance is with is not the most high God. And we all know, you know, Satan. So all these people who were saying that they can see how Beyonce served Diddy as a high priestess are not coming from nowhere, especially given all the connections that have been exposed recently tying Diddy to the Carters. Now, as far as what I've heard about Diddy being a ritualist, in an alleged memoir that was written from Kim Porter's diary entries, it says in there that as Diddy's fame continued to grow, he started using dark magic and cursing people. And Kim said she didn't even know how to react to that. Allegedly, Diddy was making Kim have intercourse at nine months pregnant with groups of people for energy harvesting and to keep his fame and fortune going. It actually says that he ran a gangbang on his pregnant wife with celebrities like Will Smith, Jada Pinkett, and many others. The book describes the moment when Kim found out that she was pregnant with Diddy's child, and she gets scared because she thinks that Diddy will be mad that she got pregnant. But he actually gets super excited about the pregnancy and even tells Kim that they should do a reveal party. Apparently, Diddy told Kim that before she gives birth, everybody is going to want to sleep with her. And he goes on to mention Will and Jada as some of the people who would want to sleep with her. Based on what is in the book, Kim did not want to sleep with those people, but Diddy told her that it was really important that she sleeps with them just before giving birth. Allegedly, Kim told Diddy that she was not comfortable doing all that spiritual stuff, but Diddy was like, do you trust me? Do you like the things we have? Then we gotta do what we gotta do to make sure we keep having these things. The book then alleges that Kim cried herself to sleep that night, and she told herself that she was gonna give her child a biblical name because she would not allow them to have his soul, and that's why she named her child Christian. Also, I came across this story about a party someone attended, and this person said some pretty weird things about what they witnessed, and I quote, there were couches and a small table in the room. Wolf asked us if we believed in God. We all said yes. Anyway, he asked us individually what we wanted out of life, and if by some chance we could have, would we do anything for it? Like young chicks, we all basically in unison was, hell yeah. He said good and told us to sit down on the floor, so we did. Puffy wasn't saying anything during our initial questioning. Then he joined us on the floor. We sat in complete silence for about 10 minutes, just looking back at one another. And then Wolf, Puffy, and Sugar Dice started chanting this crazy stuff. At this time, the room started to become colder and colder by the minute, to the point I was becoming uncomfortable. Based on what this person narrated, the people there started talking, but their voices did not sound like their own. And then it became so cold in the room that they could see their breath, and they were completely not up for what was going down or about to go down. So the person left. So yeah, people actually believe that Diddy was able to get away with so many things for so many years because of all the satanic industry rituals. About whether his high priestess was Erica or Beyonce, I honestly do not know. But you let me know whether you see it in the comments section below.